Hey guys, Dave here. What I have is Shining Path, The Struggle for Peru. I believe this edition was from Micro Game Design Group. This is the old one. I believe this has the counters where you have to cut them out and mount them on cardboard yourself and so forth. I think OSS Games has reprinted this and their new version has actual die cut counters. So I picked this up on eBay for, I think, with shipping... Uh, it was like $10 or something, so I couldn't pass up the opportunity to try it out. There's some unscrupulous people on eBay who are trying to charge uh, $75 to $90 for this on occasion. Don't pay that. Wait until you can get it for $10 with free shipping. Or, if you want it right away, buy the OSS Games version, which I think is $30. But under no circumstances, uh, uh, pay these pirates uh, $75 to $90 for this. Anyhow, this says it's copyright 1994 from B Brian Train. Let's open this up. Back of it has some charts, political support level adjustments summary for the government and the Sendero. I would assume the Sendero are the insurgents or guerrillas. I, I don't know anything about this uh, conflict in Peru. So th this game, uh, the purpose of it for me is actually to teach me about this conflict in Peru because I know absolutely nothing about it. And morale adjustment uh, summary. Well, you even got coup d'etat can occur. Interesting. So let's see, it's just got a sheet there that acts as the front cover. And here's the rule book. The rule book is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Total of eight pages with charts. So let's go to the sequence of play to see how this plays. Random events phase, that's only in the advanced game. Build, augment, and train. Deployment phase, operations phase. Turn interface consisting of control, depreciation phase, economics phase, redeployment, desertion check phase, and morale, political support adjustment phase. Brian Train has come out with a lot of these like third world... Um, I guess you would call them guerrilla games. I've never played them, but this will be the first one, so... He's known for covering these unusual conflicts. Okay, and here's the mission section. Sendero player missions. One of them's even robbery, riot strike, propaganda. Intimidation. I don't know if those are the missions or those are things that you carry out there during the missions. Here's advanced game rules. Oh, here it's got some information about the Sendero and I guess the background of this. So even if I never get a chance to try this, at least I'll read about the, the conflict here. So that's good. If I ever do try it, I'll definitely put a review of it on my website. But anyhow, that's the rule book. Let's take a look at the counters. So the counters are just a sheet of paper here, and you're going to have to mount them and cut them out. It's got cadre for the communists. Um, looks like these might be two-sided. Cadre on that side, or this be the front maybe? I'm not sure. Interesting. This is going to be a job of work to put together these counters. But as a friend said to me once, uh, he's like, what do you care about having to cut out counters and mount them on cardboard? He's like, you spend hours on end uh, painting miniatures and you don't complain about it. So he's got a point there. So if I can spend hours painting miniatures, I can spend an hour putting these counters together. Let's take a look at the map. Map's all color. It has these U, G, O, C, G, A, R, and Ops squares. I guess this is where you put patrols. Interesting. This is definitely unique. And the legend, agricultural, rural, and urban terrain. 
Here's some more shirts. Got riots, propaganda, robbery, intimidation, movement, and crisis reaction. Mission cost table. You can do coordinate searches, react routine, control depreciation phase, and economic phase. Interesting. And here's a record track. I'm not sure what you keep track of here. Maybe victory points or something, or maybe the different levels of different things. I'm not really sure. I haven't read the rules yet. But anyhow, I'm at least going to read the section that, that covers the history of the war. I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to try it because I'm so backed up on reviews. But if I do, I'll definitely post a review of it. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please click like on the video and please subscribe to this channel. Have a good evening.